Share updated Microsoft MB500 dumps to practice online for your best preparation. 1. You are creating a new form in Visual Studio. You need to apply the simple list pattern and apply the pattern to a form. What are the two possible ways to achieve the goal? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Note. Each correct selection is worth one point. A. Use the application object tree, AOT. B. Use the designer. C. Use form statistics. D. Use metadata properties. Answer. B. C. 2. You are using the size test framework to test code in Visual Studio. You need to create a unit test class. Which three attributes can you use to create the class? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Note. Each correct selection is worth one point. A. Test property. B. Entry point. C. Owner. D. Priority. E. Test filter. Answer. A. C. D. 3. You are developing a customization for Dynamics 365 Finance. The customization must extend objects from the Application Foundation package. You need to create and configure a new model for the customization. Which two actions should you perform? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Note. Each correct selection is worth one point. A. Create a new model that builds into its own separate assembly. B. Reference the application foundation package when creating the extension model. C. Create a new model that is part of an existing package. D. Assign the model to the USR layer. E. Create an extension class that references the application foundation. Answer. A. E. 4. A company uses Dynamics 365 Finance. You need to migrate all custom report artifacts from a development environment to a cloud-hosted Tier 1 test environment that has Visual Studio installed. Which two actions should you perform? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Note. Each correct selection is worth one point. A. Apply a deployment package. B. Export the project as an AXPP file. C. Create a deployment package. D. Import the project into a cloud-hosted environment from an AXPP file and ensure that the Overwrite Elements option is selected. Answer. B. D. 5. A company has a cloud-based installation of Dynamics 365 Finance. A user reports slow response times in the application when accessing the production environment. You need to diagnose the performance issue by using the Environment Monitoring Tool. Which two features of the Environment Monitoring Tool should you use? Note. Each correct answer presents part of the solution. A. Customization analysis. B. System diagnostics. C. SQL insights. D. Health metrics. E. Availability monitoring. Answer. C. D. 6. A company uses Dynamics 365 Finance. There are performance issues with the sales order list page and invoicing process. You need to diagnose the issues by using the performance timer. 
Which two processes can the performance timer monitor? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Note. Each correct selection is worth one point. A. The longest running SQL statement. B. The X++ process call stack. C. The metadata of a web session. D. The time consumed by a client and a server. Answer. A. D. 7. You are a Dynamics 365 finance developer. You have a solution that records product weights. You must store up to four decimals of precision by using a standard extended data type, EDT. You need to add the field in a new table. Which EDT should you extend? A. Weight B. Markup value C. Weight base D. Amount MST Answer. C. 8. You are a Dynamics 365 finance developer. You have a virtual machine that includes Visual Studio. You need to display the elements by model. What should you do? A. Select Metadata Search from the Dynamics 365 menu. B. Select Model Management from the menu and then select View All Package Dependencies. C. Right click the Application Object Tree. A. Out. Node in Application Explorer and select Model View. D. Select Model Management from the menu and then select Refresh Models. Answer. C. 9. You have a cloud-based Dynamics 365 finance production environment. You need to access the data to create Microsoft Power Buy reports for the business. What should you use? A. Aggregate measurements. B. Direct query. C. Analysis cubes. D. Entity store. Answer. D. 10. You are a Dynamics 365 finance developer. You create a key performance indicator, KPI, in a development environment. You need to display the KPI. What should you do? A. Add the KPI to an existing form. B. Create a tile and add the KPI to the tile. C. Create a new workspace and add the KPI to the workspace. Answer. C.